Okay, guys, we're down here on South Street, and uh, Mayor de Blasio is going to talk. this 
neighborhood from being flooded. It's flooding from the uh, river, but it's also sometimes flooding coming up in the buildings. This is a very challenging, low-rise area, and we're working with the South Sea Seaport Museum to try to make sure that they have a sustainable future. But here today, with the storm coming, New York City is ready, and of course, in my role, Manhattan is ready. Thank you very much to this administration. Thank you, Gail. We're going to take some questions. I just want to say to Deanne and Jamie, if there's any questions, feel free to come up as you deem fit to answer some questions about the storm coming on. Yeah. You laid out some examples here of what's different than eight years ago with Sandy Day. You're laying out higher dams. But specifically, how would you better prepare to this city this time around than you were eight years ago? How better prepared in general? Look, we can get your list, and J.D., I'm sure, can speak to this in a moment. There's a number of measures that have been completed, and there's a number that have now been started, and there's a whole swath of Manhattan here that's going to be addressed permanently in the coming years. So we're unquestionably better off. We also know a hell of a lot more, and we take these threats much more seriously in terms of how we prepare. And God forbid we ever have to get to a moment of evacuation. Uh, we're in a much better position to do so from the tough lessons we learned with Sandy. But this storm appears to have a very localized impact in this area. This is the one area we're particularly concerned about given the projections, and we have the tools ready to address it. Look, again, the, the permanent changes that have been already in place in Queens, in Brooklyn, in Staten Island, there's a host of things that are different just since Sandy, but a hell of a lot more to do. I always say to people, the work of resiliency is going to go on for years and years, decades. We are unquestionably in better shape, but you're right, storms are unpredictable, so we do our best to prepare for what we know, and then keep building from there. Jane, do you want to talk about the extent of previous efforts to make? As the mayor said, we have a number of coastal protection projects. Uh, I'm sorry, my name is Janie Bavici. I'm the director of the mayor's office of resiliency. Uh, as the mayor said, we have a number of coastal protection projects that have already been completed in the Rockaways and uh, in Staten Island. We've installed new dunes, um, and we've also completed a, a coastal protection project in, in Seagate and Brooklyn. Um, and this, this program that you were talking about today, Interim Flood Protection uh, Measures Program, is just that, it's interim. And in many of the sites where we're installing these measures, there are permanent projects coming. Uh, we're actually breaking ground on Eastside Coastal Resiliency and the Rockaway Reformulation Project this fall. Um, and there are a number of other projects coming across the city uh, that we're working to advance now. Uh, but I also just want to mention that besides coastal protection, we're also hardening our critical infrastructure, whether it's energy, uh, wastewater, sewer, or transportation infrastructure, and a lot of that work has been completed since Sandy. And we're, we've also improved many of our operational emergency response measures, which Deanne could speak to um, since Sandy, to incorporating the lessons that we learned during Sandy. So overall, we are much better prepared. The uh, point about the hardening infrastructure, for example, a lot of the public housing buildings, there's been a huge amount of work done, thanks to FEMA funding, to move mechanicals to a safer level in the building. Uh, we've seen that with a lot of nursing homes, backup generators, all sorts of things that we did not have at the time of Sandy that have really gotten a lot of work since then, building by building. Obviously, we know what happened to NYU Hospital and the work that's been done there. So there's a lot of examples like that around the city. Do you want to add You good? Okay, Katie. Guys, we're down here on South Street by uh, Four Engine. It's quarters down here, and uh, they got the uh, preparation for uh, the hurricane that's coming. They got a 
this big wall here to the water. And they got these tubes that are filled with water. Uh, four inch quarters down there. And then uh, the water. Check the wall. <laughs> See how this uh, holds up. We got these sand containers here. Again, guys, this is sorry, somebody asked me a question. Now, this is Wall Street here from South Street to Water Street, it looks like it's all the way up. This is uh, to protect uh, Wall Street so this water doesn't get up in here. We'll see what happens. And it goes all the way up there to Wall, uh, Water Street. Alright, this is continuing um, northbound on South Street. Had to walk around. Four engines quarters down there. Again, these are these are filled with water. And they got sandbags and these concrete uh, sand dunes. These are filled with sand. This is uh, Maiden Lane and South Street. Here, it's gonna turn. 